in this video, we're going to show you how to assemble an interactive IQRite touch frame. The world's first kit set touch frame that allows any user and integrator to simply assemble their own touch frame. Creating a touch frame for plasmas, LCDs, a whiteboard, a protection screen, a wall surface, a table, whatever your project might be. And so stay now with me as we go through the very simple process of assembling a IQRite interactive touch frame. Now, when you receive your touch frame, it'll uh, be in some packaging to protect both ends of the uh, frame sticks and all the components, as you can see uh, in the previous photograph, of all the various components that will be making up your touch frame that we will ship to you. So here we have the uh, four pieces, two sides, a top and a bottom. So now let me just um, lay them out. So that's the first thing to do, and you'll notice that uh, each end has um, been identified, A, B, C and D, and it's obviously a matter really of uh, just aligning them up and determining which parts will be going where. And so, let's see, so our first part here is going to be starting on A, in fact it's going to be on C. So what you'll see here is there's a tongue and a groove slot. So it's important, obviously, to match that up. So as I say, start with C. And you might just want handy just to lift it up a little bit, just so you can get the, the tongue and groove lined up. Keeping it at 90 degrees as you slowly now assemble it. So now we've got the first um, corner together. It still needs the screws, and we'll come back to that shortly in a moment. So now what I'm going to be doing is the we're going to be going to D. So now we're going to be doing this corner over here and I'll just turn this around so it's uh, positioned well for the, the camera for myself. And so now we're going to just again just go through that process of just identifying the groove position. Can't quite get that angle there. And there. Okay, quite straightforward. So you just got to get that. It's a little T shape there. And as you can see, it just simply uh, slides in. Now, obviously, um, it, there is a little bit of an order of this because you've got the groove, and now the final part can just go straight in. So I'm going to turn this around again. Just uh, slide it around. Okay. And uh, just give us plenty of room at this end here now. And so now this is the, uh, the final step. Being very careful, be careful of the pins, uh, not to damage them at all because that will actually um, prevent your touch frame from working accurately. And let's just now push that in there nice and firm. And that one's already. Uh, ready to go in and now we have it virtually assembled. Now next part is to actually put the little screws in. So a two mil hex screwdriver. Now most important don't over tighten. Do them up firm but uh, not over tighten because it is a very fine thread and there will be a danger of you actually stripping the thread which will be problem should you want to go uh, disassembling uh, more than once. So just uh, just going to be nice and firm but not over tightened. Being careful not to drop them on the floor and uh, losing some of the screws. Just a few turns there and there we are. Good idea to do this process without interruption, so you just end a, end a little orderly uh, procedure here, not to be distracted and 
forgetting where your screws are and where you got up to. So we just get the uh, next one. We'll place that on here. Again, just a couple of turns. And this one. Yeah, I need to just make sure that because it's a very fine alignment of the holes. Um, sometimes you just need to make sure that you know it's pushed in nice and tight and firm because it is a small hole. The uh, screws having to go through two holes to get to the thread in the um, in the base part, but uh, shouldn't be a problem. And you know, just uh, as long as you take a little bit of care and. Just take your time doing it, and there we are. The next screw's just gone in. A couple of turns, and so basically we have one end fully completed, with uh, not a lot else to do to it. So there we are there, and uh, let's uh, do this last end here. And of course, well before assembling the frame, you would have decided on how you're going to mount the frame to your screen, your wall surface or whatever and so um, you may or may not have already determined whether to use the uh, the clamp mounts here. In this particular case we've actually uh, just left them on from a previous assemble but uh, they may not have actually been placed if you were doing this. In fact they would not have been placed on if you were doing it for the first time. And so if you were using the uh, VHB tape, that might be your option, which would be the next process, which we've demonstrated on one of our other videos in part two. We've done that on a smaller frame. Or you could use Velcro, uh, would be uh, one of the alternatives. Uh, you could use glue, but we wouldn't um, recommend you use a permanent glue that you will never be able to remove the frame, uh, should you ever change the particular application or the, the use of it, but uh, entirely up to you. And just do the final corner. There we are. And I should have two left. Very good. So now we've got the last two to go in. and the final screw. So as you can see the process is very straightforward no wiring to do whatsoever this cable on this end here is permanently attached in this model of the uh, interactive touch frame and of course just a standard very familiar USB cable. So now that is now ready to be mounted onto uh, our screen um, projector or whatever, in this case this one here would be more suited for a projector due to the dimensions that would be plugged into the uh, into the computer and uh, then the process would be the calibration process uh, which is uh, just as simple as you've just seen here. Okay, so that's the demonstration of how you assemble an interactive IQ Write touch frame. Thank you for watching.